The Latinx community in San Francisco's Mission District is being disproportionately impacted by COVID-19. KPIX 5's John Ramos says faster, easier, and less expensive testing could change that dynamic. San Francisco's Mission District has one of the highest rates of infection in the Bay Area. But a new study suggests that the technology now exists to begin effectively fighting the spread of the virus. Latinos are only 15% of the city's population, but suffer 51% of infections. So in September, UCSF and the Chan Zuckerberg Biohub set up testing sites at the corner of Mission and 16th Street to see what would happen. They tested more than 800 people, and the good news is the infection rate is down to about 3% when it has been as high as 11% in the past. And what we wanted to see was what the prevalence of infection was. And also just test. If we put a, a testing location site here, will people show up? Well, the answer is yes, they would. John Jacobo with the Latino Task Force says it shows if low barrier testing is offered, people will take advantage of it. And the kind of test also matters. The study used the newer rapid COVID-19 tests that yield results in minutes rather than the original PCR tests that can take days. You can imagine if I gave you the information two or three days later, that's two or three days that you could potentially be interacting with people and spread the virus. How about reducing that to 15 minutes? The older PCR tests are actually more sensitive and can detect smaller amounts of COVID-19 virus in the body. But it turns out that may not be as effective when it comes to controlling the outbreak. Because the less and less virus that you have, there's a probability that they're less and less infectious. So if it captures the majority of people with the most virus, that is likely to have the best opportunity at breaking transmission chains moving forward. Those in the Latino community say with faster, cheaper, and more effective tests now available, it is up to the city to begin putting them into widespread use. And we are yet to, to receive full-blown low-barrier testing facilities. We have very, you know, drop-in-the-bucket locations three times a week. Um, so the ball is in their court for that. In San Francisco, John Ramos, KPIX 5. So far, the rapid tests have only been approved for use by health care providers, but the Mission District study shows they can be used effectively in open-air community environments.